Hey, 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 closet dwellers and closet busters. It is Friday. Yes. Almost the weekend for some of us. And for those of us that work on the weekends, well, it's either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but whatever it is. But it is time for another episode of Uncloseted Riffs and Rants. And it was so interesting this week because I was working with my coach training school on some projects. And one of the conversations led to this space about stimulus and reacting, which then led to a conversation about responding versus reacting. And I realized this is a huge, huge, huge closet for most of us. Is most of us, we let the stimulus of our lives, whether it's something that somebody says or an event that happens to us, air quotes, to us, instead of air quotes for us, and then we either respond or we react. And trust me, voice of truth speaking here, I'm a reactor. I don't hide it. I know I'm a reactor. I work on it daily, 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 moment by moment by moment. And as I'm working through this, what I'm starting to discover about myself is when I stop and pause, And I look at the stimulus, okay? So the stimulus can be something that somebody has said, the way someone looks at you, maybe it's an event that's happening, maybe it's something that didn't go your way. When I stop and look at the stimulus and really take a deep, deep dive into it, I can really, truly respond versus react. So what's the difference? A response to me is a very calculated, mindful thought that you use to react to a situation or a comment or a way someone has treated you or a way someone has looked at you, whatever, all the myriad of things that we have the opportunities to choose at either reacting or responding to. A reaction, in my case, is that big, bold, knee-jerk, go off the handle, just say something that's right there instead of taking the breath, (gasps) pausing, and stopping. So why am I talking about this around living life uncloseted? And why am I doing this in the uncloseted riffs and rants this week? It's because it's so, so, so important. Yes, I'm pounding my fist into my hand. It is so, so, so important for us to really understand how we can learn to respond versus react. I don't care if you're coming out of the closet or you're getting laid off from a job, you're getting broke up with by a girl or a guy, whether you just won the lottery, well, that would be a a true response of glee for me. But um, whatever it is, we stand at the crossroads in the Y. Yes, I'm making a little Y with my fingers that you can't see right now. But we stand at those crossroads every time a situation, quote, stimulus, invites us to respond or react. And with choice, we can actually choose to respond in a manner that doesn't drive more stress into our life, that doesn't cause us to feel pain. Okay, we may feel a little pain, but the way we respond can lessen the pain or it can increase the joy and the happiness, no matter what it is. And so today, that's why I wanted to bring this subject forward. To have you stop and pause, even if it's just for a moment today, and think about something that's going on in your life. Or if you need to, something that's happening to you, even though everything is happening for you and me, everything happens for us. But stop and pause and think if you didn't react and instead you took a moment to think, ponder, get mindful and respond, what would be different for you in your life? I know for me, when I have these moments, especially dealing with my daughters who are 18 and 21, so lots of buttons can get pushed there is when I take the time to respond, I feel so much more in control of myself, in control of the situation. I'm more open to hearing and loving them and taking them in and hearing their perspective. And there's a whole lot less stress. And more importantly, there's a whole lot less reason to feel like there has to be a right or a wrong. It just is. Everything in life just is. Now that doesn't mean to sit back, throw your feet up and eat bonbons, but it does mean kicking back a little bit 
and going, how can I step through this, be in this, and walk through this so that I respond, which enables us, yes, which enables us, believe me, no BS here, which enables us to actually do things in a much more powerful way for ourselves and for others. So as you think through this today, I want you to try just once today to catch yourself. Catch yourselves in one of those freaking moments where you're about to go boom, react, and take a deep breath. Step back, literally or figuratively. I sometimes literally step back so that when I'm in a situation, I literally take that step back, which is my signal to slow down, take a breath, and see how do I want to respond. So that's this week's riff and rant. That uncloseted riff and rant where you get a little bit of insight from me about maybe doing life slightly different. And when you can do that, you start to live your life so beautifully uncloseted and you can live life with meaning. You can do life with meaning. You can love life with passion because you're actually living life uncloseted. That's it for this week. Have a great weekend, everyone. And we will catch you in just a few days again on Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday is just around the corner. when We'll have a brand new episode of the Coming Out Lounge, which is soon going to be called Life Uncloseted. Take care, everyone. <laughs>